Hello all. Today we are going to discuss about CUET PG exam for the year 2024 and specifically we are going to focus on how to prepare for food science and technology syllabus. Right. So what is the CUET? CUET is common university entrance test which is conducted for both UG and PG degrees. Today our focus is going to be completely on PG degree that is CUET PG for food science and technology. Right. Coming to the exam pattern. This exam is going to consist of 75 multiple choice questions and each correct answer is going to give you plus 4 marks. So in total, maximum marks that you can get is 300, 75 into 4. And if you answer any question wrongly, you will be, be getting minus marks also. Minus 1, 1 mark is minus for every wrong answer. And all the questions are multiple choice as I told earlier. And total you will be getting 105 minutes which is nothing but 1 hour and 45 minutes to complete the entire test. The questions will be in English and Hindi, both the languages and it is a computer based test. That is, a, it is a CBT form test. Okay. We are coming to a few important dates regarding the exam. The application dates were already started from last December 2023. 26th December till 24th January you will be able to apply for the exam. By 25th you have to complete the exam fee transaction. The exam is going to happen from 11th of March till 28th of March and it is going to happen in multiple shifts. Total 105 minutes you are going to get and in this 105 minutes you have to complete all the 75 questions. And advance in advance they will intimate you about the city and everything similar to the last year itself. And now let us start focusing on the syllabus. How about the syllabus of food science and technology? What are the important topics that you have to focus and where and all you can score marks easily? What type of questions you can expect from the syllabus? Things like that. So coming to the first unit, if you see the first unit, uh, basically it is just related to the introduction part of food science and technology. And mostly you will be getting questions related to terms and definitions, right? So this thing almost till here, if you see, it is related only to terms and definitions. And terms and definitions such a way quite simple ones like what are nutrients, what is a balanced diet, what is the meaning of nutrition, diet, health, concept like that, right? So now and also the balanced diet part as well. And a few things related to nutrition and dietetics is also included like your food plate, your food pyramid, different food groups. And uh, then comes your actual food science part wherein uh, starting from this part, your actual food science starts. Browning reaction in foods. Like there are multiple types of browning, right? Enzymatic, non-enzymatic, for example, myelad reactions, browning reaction, caramelization. Like these multiple types of brownings are there. This brownings, what are the causes of these and how could you prevent these? And what temperature these type of browning happens? This kind of questions you can expect from this particular part. Coming to the next one, pulses and cereals and pulses. In general, all the food groups you are getting in the syllabus, in all these food groups, one common question that you can get is sequence type questions. Like they can give you multiple food sources like cereals, pulses or you know meat, milk products like that. They can give you and they can ask you based upon one particular nutrient, arrange this uh, food groups based on uh, either uh, protein content or based on you know carbohydrate or pro based on vitamin C content. They can ask you to arrange in either ascending or descending order. Four or five foods they will give you and they will ask you to arrange. This is a very common type of question that you can see in this exam. And related to your cereals and pulses, another very important thing is the process of gelatinization. So they can ask you the sequence in which this gelatinization of starch happens. Okay, there will be six or seven steps depending upon the source that you refer to. So those steps you have to focus and what are the factors which will affect the formation of this process. Right, and you will be asked questions about anti nutritional factors. What is anti nutritional factor? Any nutrient, any uh, sorry, uh, any component which is preventing absorption of other nutrient, it is called as an anti nutritional factor. Say, for example, phytate or oxalate, tannins, all of these are examples of anti nutritional factors. So, these anti nutritional factors related to this, always you get questions when it comes to food science or even related to your nutrition. So, this part you have to focus more. And also, what are the processes, what are the processing techniques that you can use to reduce the quantity of this anti-nutritional factors? So basically, you can soak, you can germinate, you can ferment the foods, which will help in increasing the nutritional absorption capacity, bioavailability, or we call it, to increase the bioavailability of the nutrients. Okay, so this type of question you can expect from the cereals and pulses topic. And fruits and, uh, fruits and vegetables, as I told you, same thing, you can expect sequence type questions depending upon the quantity of a particular nutrient which is present in that particular food okay another very important one is the food source and the antioxidant or phytochemicals which are present in that food so those things can also come especially in match the type following question one side they will give you the food name 
like the ingredient name say for example tomato one side like a bean on the other side like that they can ask you to match it okay so that type of questions you can expect from fruits and vegetables next coming to your chocolate so related to chocolate the only question that i expect that can easily appear is the sequence processing of chocolate sequence so there is tempering fermentation like this multiple process are there na so the sequence of chocolate preparation could be asked okay and also the tempering temperature tempering ke liye we use a different temperature right to give the glossy look for the chocolate so that temperature could be asked and the process could also be asked next coming to your milk and milk products again same sequence type question can come since multiple fruit products exist and multiple sources se hum uh, we get this uh, dairy products right so related to that it can come and also related to a few terms like your pasteurization homogenization fortification like this multiple processes are used in uh, milk technology right milk processing technology so that could be asked for you and again temperatures and factors which are affecting the effectiveness of these different techniques okay there are multiple ways in which we do these techniques na like uht is there so like this multiple things are there that, that could also be asked for you and related to types of milk also in milk also there are multiple types right like cow's milk is there buffalo milk is there and then in milk itself standardized milk double toned milk half half like this multiple types of milk is there na so in that they can ask you combination type questions next coming to eggs main type of question that you can expect from this is the use of egg in cookery what is the different uh, you know functions that a particular egg can do like if you if you take in minus egg acts as a emulsifier if you take in other uh, maybe in a bakery goods it acts as a raising agent like this multiple ways may we use eggs right so related to that you can get questions and also that is what is the functions of egg in cookery so this thing is important and you can get questions related to anti nutritional factor which is present in egg we there is a anti nutritional factor called avidin right so this avidin related questions are very frequently asked in this question in this exam so that also you have to focus then coming to meat fish and poultry again combination type question or sequence type question related to its nutritional capacity and then what is the different selection criteria what is the standard purchase procedure when you buy a meat or fish or poultry etc and then there is tenderization tenderization say related you can get enzyme questions like uh, pepain is used for tenderization of meat and like this bromelain can be used for tenderization of meat things like that next again related to your sugar you can get questions related to sugar cookery temperature of sugar cookery and the stage of sugar cookery okay and the different names of sugar there are multiple names in which we call sugar na there is invert sugar dextrose this that like that around 54 different names are there so related to that you can get questions next coming to fats and oils fats and oils are related i uh, i believe that you will get questions related to this rancidity part more because there are uh, like for example acid values there rancidity many rancidity indexes are there so this indexes are related you can get questions okay and also uh, what and all the uh, different changes that happens in a fat like uh, when you uh, fry the fat multiple use the fat multiple times you heat it and reheat reheat in use then that can lead to a lot of problems increase in trans fat content and that leads to cardiovascular diseases so stuff like that could be asked related to your fats and oils okay and um, as i already told you different food groups are related one common type of question you get is the sequence type question like different foods they will give you and they'll ask you to arrange it depending upon a particular nutrient and then coming to your uh, food hygiene part uh, food hygiene part is quite simple if you have a basic idea of how to you know uh, take care of your personal hygiene and take care of the surroundings of a food industry this things could be this question could be asked very easily it's not very thought provoking or anything and then coming to your adulteration what are the different food sources and what is a common adulterant which is used in that food source and what is the health effect of that adulterant say for example if uh, in black pepper usually papaya seeds are mixed and papaya seeds if you consume in large quantity it leads to stomach related problems gastrointestinal related problems stuff like that okay next coming to your baking technology again here one extra part that you could see is the history of bakeries in india okay history of bakery and its scope in indian economy okay this part you may not have studied in your bsc or in your ug degree right so that this part may just go through the basics of how bakeries developed in india right next coming to your wheat grain technology related to that you will get questions related to the structure of a wheat grain like bran husk germ part where which in particular part contains lot of anti nutritional factors 
or which part has high glycemic index like that right and then coming to the types of wheat flour so basically uh, durum wheat is there then refined wheat flour is there things like that and depending on this the composition of the nutrition composition will also vary so have a look of that as well and next you have to know the composition amylose how much is there amylopectin how much is there what is the difference between amylose and amylopectin that kind of these things also you have to see then coming to cake technology you have to know the different types of cakes what are the different ingredients used and the proportion of the different ingredients that we use and whenever we speak about cooking or especially when it comes to baking temperature plays a very important role right or else a cake will become a biscuit right so you have to take care of the temperature part and you have to keep it in your mind very uh, strongly and of course you will get questions related to that as well in your exam and labeling regulations related to fssi okay fssi say related labeling regulations we just go through it once and then related to pastry technology you'll mostly get questions related to your types of pastry only like the fat content of different types of pastry like uh, among these different types of pastry tell us in which is used for this product or um, which is used for making you know how a calzone is used in calzone what type of pastry is used like that if they can ask you or they can ask you whether fermented dough or unfermented dough is used for a particular food product like that like naan ke liye to hum fermented uh, uh, we use it na or fermented flour like that but if you take chapati chapati is not fermented right so like that different food products ka names they will give you and they will ask you whether fermented or unfermented dough is used for that particular food product next coming to food safety and preservation food safety and preservation in this you have to study the external and internal factors which affect the growth of microbes that is very very important that uh, that's related you get a lot of questions most of the exams you can see this type and then what are the main reasons we do preserve the food and what are the main reasons for processing basically these two will be same only and you have to focus on all the key factors which affects food safety and then food loss in india so you have to know about fssa act right before fssa we had pfa so pfa ke under there were so many different acts those also you have to focus and what are the different food additives which are allowed and which are banned in india this question is very commonly asked and also recent times we speak a lot about artificial sweeteners right so you have to know according to fssi which artificial sweeteners are banned in india and which are okay to be used in india okay next methods of preservation you have to know again the reason for that particular type of preservation and for each type of preservation you have to know the different components which are used okay for example if you take fermentation which is a common type of bacteria which is a common colony of bacteria which is used for fermentation like if you take uh, sauerkraut there will be a specific bacteria if you take uh, yogurt if you take curd for yogurt and curd itself there is difference in the type of bacteria which is there so this kind of specific questions could be asked okay next related to your fruit and vegetable processing again they can ask you questions related to the products different food products which are there so they can give you the expansion of a chutney they can give you the expansion of a sauce and they can ask you uh, these 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 characteristics are present in this particular food identify that food like that they can ask you and you have to know the classification of preservatives class 1 preservative class 2 preservative again which is allowed which is not allowed in india so things like that you have to focus okay next then coming to your in this you have to focus a lot about your fssa okay fssa act you have to know and the provisions under your fssa act and regulations next it is advanced baking technology in advanced baking technology a few other extra pointers are added like we have seen about uh, you know basic pastries and basic cooking uh, baking techniques and all here specific varieties will come uh, like uh, cooking different types of biscottes and uh, using uh, like the different proportions of ingredients which are used in this biscuits and cookies those kind of things and crackers also could be asked and different types of breads and what is uh, what which types of you know microorganisms leads to stale uh, le leads to spoilage of bread there are multiple types of spoilage which is seen in bread na there is threading like that so those things you can have to focus and diseases of bread is nothing but how uh the same thing that i told you with the different microorganisms what type of problem they cause in bread like that next related to food packaging in food packaging also there are multiple types of packaging like your vacuum seal is there retort pack is there active packaging intelligent packaging then there is um, rfid all these things you have to know plus along with that 
you have to know the labeling regulations also according to FSSAI. Okay. And the importance of nutritional labeling. In nutritional labeling, you have to focus on what? We have to know about traffic light labeling. So, three different colors will be there and each color will represent a different nutrient level. Right. So, that thing is very new. So, this thing you have to focus. And then a little bit about marketing. Because since this is related to bakery and basics and advanced, a little bit of marketing card is also added. Like what are the four P's? Like Philip Kotler ka four P that is asked here. And then how you'll be marketing, how you'll be uh, seeing the distribution channels and what are the different types of cost, how you'll do cost control, portion control, how you will calculate, you know, techno-economic feasibility for a particular food product. Those things will be asked under your marketing and cost control. Next coming to... Yes, next coming to the food safety hygiene part, right? So in this, you have to know about HACCP and then you have to know about FSSI regulations. You have to know about HACCP, GMP and GHP. These are the important ones that you have to focus. And a few extra point is your TQM, total quality management, right? So this is what is important under your food quality management and related to HACCP, Seven points are there. Na? So those seven points, they can ask sequence type questions from that. And then introduction to your food safety and hygiene part. Uh, as I told you again, if you have a basic idea of how all these things happens in an industry, if you have been to an internship, these questions will be quite easy to answer for you. Okay. And then sensory evaluation. Related to sensory evaluation, they can ask questions related to hedonic scale because that is the most common type of scale that uh, in industry, in Indian industries, we use for evaluation of the sensory properties of food so those that thing could be asked then food quality testing in food quality testing you have to know what is a different method okay like if you want to measure moisture if you want to measure texture if you want to measure viscosity what is the nickname of the equipment which is used and when it comes to chemical analysis you have to know about for proximity we call it as proximate analysis na? So, for proximate analysis, there will be multiple methods. Different, uh, you know, scientists would have found out different methods. So, for each of this nutrient, you have to know which method is used. Okay, for protein, we have gel dals, na? Like that, for all the different methods, all the different nutrients, you have to know which method, which chemical analysis is used. It is called as proximate analysis also. So, that you have to know. And about the plate count related to microbial sampling and testing. Right. So, all the important thing, all the important things that could come in your exam, I have quite given a basic idea later to that and study really well. The syllabus is a bit vast when it comes to food science and technology, but still all of the basic things are only included in your syllabus. So if you have really done well in your UG, UG studies and if you have good books from your UG, it will be very easy for you to prepare for this exam. And uh, they are going to be only subject-based questions. So if you have a good subject knowledge itself, you will be able to secure a very good rank in your CUET PG. All the very best for all the students who are preparing for CUET PG. And for more updates like this, please stay tuned with Professor Academy's YouTube channel. Thank you.